Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to a very good friend of mine. I just call him Mitch. I know everyone's been wondering, what's good old Mitch doing on a program that's really just to give the chicks a chance? Well, I'm here to talk about sexism and why I'm a feminist. And this is strictly for the guys. So, hey, girls, why don't you just fix some drinks, get sexy, because when I finish with your fella, he's going to know how to treat you. <laughs> the joy of sex. I was the technical advisor. Yeah? Okay, guys. I'm a feminist. For me, there's, there's no sex war. When I'm with a chick, we don't have time to fight. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> women are not our servants anymore. If we want them to still do those special little things for us, we have to give them something in return. <laughs> and hey, guys, maybe that thing could be called love, respect, a little help with the housework. <laughs> okay. So it's easy for Mitch. He's got all the best chicks. And anyway, he can probably afford to pay for some old bag to come in and wipe up after him. But let me tell you, I would never pay for anyone to come and look after my home. Because in the long run, if a doll cares enough for a guy, she'll wipe. <laughs> I mean, that's why I really understand when I see Vicky and her little chums putting effort into ensuring that tarts are taken seriously. But believe me, girls, I already take you seriously. <laughs> where, where, where does all my money go? <laughs> I mean, come on, girls. A guy who's thinking about renting a video does not spend money on something he doesn't respect. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. And this is coming from a fellow who rents colour. Hmm? Don't you really love to see a really neat chick walking down the street and you just know she's not wearing a bra? <laughs> Well, that's what women's lib has done for us, okay? So don't knock it. <laughs> okay, okay, so most hardline feminists are dykes. And yeah, maybe, maybe a few of them could do with a shave. But why let the ugly ones spoil it for everyone? Christ, you know that Vicky has written plays? She's no Shakespeare, but she's doing something. <laughs> so that's why, if ever I see a guy being sexist to a chick, I just feel like taking him apart bit by bit. And that's coming from a fellow who's done three years jujitsu. <laughs> I mean, like the other day, yeah? I've been out drinking on business with, a, with this yank. I told a couple of chicks to turn up later for some fun. Well, if you can't relax, what's the point in earning a lot of money? <laughs> now, all right, I'd had a couple, maybe 10 or 12 special brews, a couple of vodkas, but I wasn't affected. And the stripper had just finished her act. Now, hey, there's nothing sexist about stripping. There's just some chicks who don't want to get married. It's a woman's right to choose. Anyway, she was Swedish. But this big drunken lug just tried to reach out and grab her. I mean, phew! Well, I just wrapped a bottle around his face. And I said, the hospitals are full of sexists like you. Then I looked at the stripper. She looked at me and, well, it's a long story, guys. But virtue has its own reward. I mean, just, just because I'm a feminist doesn't mean I don't get plenty. I mean, I'm not a queer. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, guys, it isn't that hard to say feminism. Feminism. <laughs>